Hi everyone, my name is Beth. I'm a librarian at the Weinberg Library in Mequon. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the databases that's available to you. It's called Novelist. This is actually a database that we librarians use very often to help folks find new books to read based on what they've already read and enjoyed, including authors, series, and titles. As always, there's a handout for this class and it's linked in the description below, so please feel free to take a look at it. And without any further ado, let's get started. So to get to Novelist, you want to start off at our website, flwlib.org. The URL is also in your handout. You'll mouse over eServices, and then under Digital Services, you'll actually click on BadgerLink. Novelist is part of the set of resources curated by BadgerLink, which is one big website put together by the state of Wisconsin. So if I click on the link for BadgerLink here, I get taken to a page with the description of the site, and then I can say Access BadgerLink to finally get there. From here, I'll click on All Resources, which takes me to an alphabetical list of everything that's available through BadgerLink. And Novelist is obviously going to be under the ends. So I'll click on N to jump to those resources. I've got a newspaper site, another one, news wires, and then here is Novelist and Novelist K through eight. So if you're looking for titles of all ages, you would wanna to go to Novelist. If you're looking specifically for books for children, you could go to Novelist K through eight. But those books for children are also included in the regular Novelist resource. So it's really up to you um, which one you use if you're searching for kids stuff. Um, but if you're searching for yourself, which I'm assuming most of you will be, you would just click on Novelist here. Now that will drop you down at the home page. I mentioned before, librarians use Novelist a lot to help folks find books based on things they've already read and enjoyed. So when you walk up to the info desk here at the Weinberg Library, um, we might be pulling from a list that we've put together of things that we think you might like based on different authors and different subjects and genres. Or we might also go to Novelist and do some searching to find you something that might be interesting to you. And of course, you can use this resource too. I'll just point out a couple things on the home page here. Up here at the top of the screen, we have a series of drop down menus, including this browse by option. So when I mouse over this, it drops down and I have some options to choose from. If I click on genre appeal, themes or award winners, I'll be taken to a series of lists of popular books in certain genres like mysteries, by appeal, like appeals to people who like this author or this book by theme, and then award winners like Man Booker Prizes and National Book Awards and Children's Awards like the Caldecott and things like that. So that's one thing you've got up here. I also have some quick links. There's a list of author read-alikes. So if you like an author who tends to be more popular, like say David Baldacci, you could click through to the author read-alikes and choose him from the list and see at a glance which authors are similar to him. There's also some book club resources, including discussion questions for different titles, some genre outlines that talk about different genres and what they encompass. So if you're not sure what genre you tend to read in, you could click on genre outlines and learn more about, say, thrillers versus mysteries versus this and that and the other, and really figure out where your interests are. On the left, there's also a series of recommended reads lists that have been put together by librarians that work for Novelist. Um, so they are divided by age group and then by different topics, including genre topics. You can click on any of these to see a full list. And then in the center of the screen here, you have some other lists that have been put together by librarians, again, organized by age and then by, in this case, theme. Now the key part of Novelist that makes it really useful to you is this search bar near the top of the screen. So there's two ways that you can use Novelist. The first is if you don't know the title of a book, but you remember certain things about it and you don't have a librarian handy to help you find it, you can search for whatever you remember in here. So as an example, Novelist is suggesting we search for Japan, 1930 women. So let's say, I remember I read a novel once that was set in Japan. I think it was in the 1930s and it featured women. I'm gonna click into the search bar here and type in Japan 1930 women. 
I'll make sure that this drop down menu is set to keyword and I can change it if I click on it. I can choose keyword and I'll talk about the other options here in a second, but we want this to be set to keyword and then I'll say search. So now I have a series of results based on this search. They're organized by relevance, but I can also refine them using the options over on the left side of the screen here. So if I know what age group the book was for, I could check one of these boxes and limit it to just that age group. If I have a sense of when I read it and when it was probably published, I could do a range here. I can narrow by genre, theme, characters, all kinds of different options. And you can do multiple of these at once if you really want to get specific. But the less sure you are about the details of the book, the more broad I would leave your search. Um, because you never know. Just because you remember something in a certain way doesn't mean that it actually was that way. So let's say that wasabi for breakfast sounds familiar and sounds maybe like what I'm looking for. I can click on the title to learn more about it. I've got a brief synopsis here, a couple of genres that it might be part of, themes, characters, writing styles. I can see some reviews that might go into more detail about the plot. And I have some read-alikes. So these are books that are similar to this book that might actually be what I'm looking for or might be part of the theme of what I'm looking for. So if Wasabi for Breakfast doesn't seem like the right one, I can go back and look at the other results. But I would say also look at these read-alikes. You can mouse over the covers to see a little bit more about them. You can also click on them to see more about them and read up a little bit and make sure that you're not ruling something out just because it doesn't completely fit what you're thinking of. And then if and when you find the book you're looking for, because Novelist isn't directly connected to our library catalog, you would want to go to monarchcatalog.org, which will drop you here, and then you can type the title into the quick library search bar along with the author if you know it, and just click the magnifying glass and see if we can get a hold of it for you either at our library or at another library. So that is searching for a book when you don't know the title. The other useful thing about Novelist, and the one that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is searching for what we call read-alikes. So books that are similar to something you've already read, whether that's by genre, by style, by the characters involved, um, just something that kind of fits what interests you. Now you can search for similar books by title. You can also search for similar series, and you can search for similar authors. Let's talk about searching for authors first. So in the search bar, let's say that I know I like Jodi Picoult. So I'm going to type in her name, Jodi Picoult. I do get a drop down where I can click on her name automatically, or I can click on keyword over here to open this drop down menu and then choose author and say search. Now I don't need to type her full name, especially if I don't know it. And I could type Picoult comma Jodi. I could type Jodi Picoult like I have here, or I could just type Picoult and see what I get. So I'm going to click search. Now I've been taken to a page all about this author. So I have a short biography of hers. Um, I have some genres she usually writes in, what kind of characters she tends to write, and some other information about her work. A little bit farther down, I can see a full list of all the books she's written, and I could toggle to see which series she has and a little bit more information about her as well. On the right side of the screen, under Read-Alikes, there are a series of authors' names that I might try to see if I like them, just like Jodi Picoult. So these are people who write similarly to her and write on similar topics. If one of these is interesting to me, I can go ahead and click on it. So let's look at Diane Chamberlain. Now I'm on Diane Chamberlain's novelist page. Again, I've got a biography of her here. I also, at the very end of this biography, have a suggestion for which book to start with. So if she sounds like the kind of person, based on the genre and the storyline she tends to write about in this little biography, if she sounds like someone I want to read, I would know, okay, I can maybe start with Summer's Child. Or I can scroll down and look at all the books she's written and look at the brief descriptions that each one has and then go ahead and look those books up in the library catalog and see if I can get a hold of one. Now it does become a little bit of a rabbit hole because now that I'm on Diane Chamberlain, I'm getting read-alikes for her as well. There's Jodi Picoult again. We've also got Danny Shapiro, Sue Miller, Kristen Hanna. You're going to get a lot, a lot, a lot of options. And not all of these folks will be available in our catalog, but many of them will be. Again, once you have a name, you can toggle back 
to the Monarch Library Catalog, monarchcatalog.org, and do a quick library search for the person's name, Diane Chamberlain, Chamberlain, Diane, or just Chamberlain. So that's how to search for similar authors. Now, if you're looking for a read-alike for a specific book or series, you can also enter it in the search bar up here and just search for that book. So let's say I recently read the book, The Dry by Jane Harper, and I want to read something like it. In this box, I could type The Dry and just search for that. I could type The Dry Harper, Harper comma Jane, or even Jane Harper to be more specific. I'm gonna make sure that this keyword box is toggled to keyword, which again, I can click on it and then say keyword if it says something else like author, title, or series. And I'm gonna go ahead and click search. So just like before, when we searched for a description of a book, we get a series of results. The one you're looking for is very likely going to land right at the top of the list because Novelist is pretty good about that. If you don't see it though, you can also refine the results using all the same options that we saw before, audience, publication date, genre, and so on and so forth. You can also click on the title of the book to see more about it and make sure it's the one that you're looking for. From here, right underneath the description of the book, we have a few options. So title read-alikes, if I click on that, will take me to a list of specific books that are similar to the dry, including the title of the book, the author, and a brief description of why they're suggesting it. So which elements are similar, and why you might like it as someone who likes the dry. I can also choose author read-alikes and get a list of authors that are similar to Jane Harper, again, with brief descriptions of each one and reasons why you might like them. And I can choose series read-alike if this book is part of a series, which it is. And again, I get a full list of different series that I might enjoy, including the author's name and a reason for why I might like each one. If and when you find a title, an author, or a series that you're interested in, as always, toggle over to monarchcatalog.org, type them into the quick library search, click the magnifying glass, and we'll see if we can get a hold of them for you. Once you're done using Novelist, there's no need to log out. You can just click away and go to the library catalog or go about your business doing whatever it is you need to do. And that is it. That's the whole spiel. As I mentioned at the beginning, the handout for this class is in the description below. Believe it or not, I actually won't see you back here on YouTube. We are switching back to in-person meetings of our ICANN series as of September 3rd. So the first Thursday of every month at 2 p.m., I will be in the Tolzman community room here at the library talking about different pieces of technology that you can use. The third Wednesday of every month from 2 to 4 in the Tolzman community room, I'm also around for general questions, um, sort of an open 15 minutes where you can come and ask me anything. On September 3rd at 2, I'll be discussing smartphone basics, so I hope I will see you then. Thank you.